Hey, feels right. Feels right. Man. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten. He wears a hooded sash with a silver hat about his head and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. NFL football starts tomorrow. I know it's the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Baltimore Ravens, but it's still NFL football. It's a bit of an appetizer followed by another appetizer on Friday with the Green Bay Packers versus the Philadelphia Eagles. That should hold us over until we get to the main course on Sunday with the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Big Bad Los Angeles Chargers. They have Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa, and who'd want to go against those guys on opening day? It must be an L.A. thing with all the hype for a team that wasn't very good last year. I know the Chargers had injuries, but they're going to have injuries this year too. Bosa might not make it past the opening credits, but we got to hear everything about Mack and Bosa. What about Max Crosby, who's torn it up over the years against the Chargers? Yeah, they drafted the right tackle Joe Alt to block him a few months ago, but can the rookie handle him? Edris from Malcolm Coons is going to be a problem for left tackle Rashawn Slater, too. Remember last year? Then there's interior defense lineman Christian Wilkins. Who are they going to double? Who can they single block? Let's start with Crosby, who's been killing them over the years. They can't run at him. Yeah, he's pretty stout at the point of attack. He does not leave much room to run. He can get that quick penetration for tackles for a loss too. He was on the offensive left side instead of the right side where he usually is but it's the same result. Now he's back on the offensive right side and he's going to take on the puller and make the play. Watch Crosby swim his way into the backfield here. No wonder why the Chargers draft at all. Here he's going to get rid of the tight end and he wants in on the action so bad he's going to jump in there. Oh, and if you run away from Crosby, you're still going to have problems. Here he's going to provide more help from the backside. Now watch him force his way into the backfield here. I'm really proud of him because he wasn't that good against the run when he first came into the league. And when the Chargers are throwing the ball, they either hold them like they do here. Or they put three blockers on them like they do here. They had to do that to get that deep ball off. Because if they single block them, this is what they're going to get. Disruption. Crosby's going to chase Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert all over the yard. I got to tip my hat to Herbert for getting out of this one, but it's still an incomplete pass. He was going to spin inside and cause Herbert's throw to go off the mark. With the Chargers backup quarterback in, everything stays the same. 
Oh. And this is the main reason why the Chargers picked Alt. Oh. Herbert's going to try to run out of this sack, but he's going to be unsuccessful. And here the Chargers are going to miss Crosby on the stunt. Once he gets the tackle's outside shoulder, that's it. Herbert was alert and lucky to get that one back. Who's gonna block that guy? Well, they say Alt's gonna be the one to do it. Let's take a look at him. He doesn't look like a masher, but he looks like he can run block a little bit. It's hard to tell though, because he had limited preseason snaps. And he has a little nasty boy in him going to tick past the whistle. Here he's straining, trying to get that hole open. Here he starts to block off nicely, but then gets thrown. Here his head is a little too far in front of his feet, so he's gonna get thrown. And here he's gonna pop up too high, so he's gonna get blown back. All right, now let's watch him pass block. Oh, false start. Is that gonna be a thing with him this year? Man, I gotta give it to him on this one. He's gonna bull the bull rusher. Here he does his part while the quarterback gets pressure from elsewhere. He gets knocked off balance a little bit on this bull rush. My bad, he's the one in the yellow circle. I like his ability to recover when he's been jolted by a bull rush. With as far in front of his feet as his head is, Crosby can get him with a push-pull. Here he does a good job of riding his guy out. And here he's gonna react in time for the inside move. Here he's gonna get a little help inside. I think the kid's gonna be all right, but is he ready for Crosby right now? And Wilkins played against the Chargers last year too, and I can't act like this didn't happen. That was then right tackle Trey Pimpkins, whom Wilkins will see this year at guard. Him and left guard Zion Johnson. Here the Chargers are gonna try him again, and nope. Watch him get skinny and get through there when the Chargers pull the guard. Yeah, he's quick off the ball. Alright, here's another win for the Chargers on this combo block. They can forget about it here though. Outside of those two bad snaps, Wilkins was solid against the run against the Chargers last year. But when he's rushing the passer, watch out. Watch him close in on Herbert. He darn near could have grabbed the shovel pass, but then he comes back and makes a play. Herbert's gonna have to throw this one away because Wilkins is closing. All right, there's Wilkins inside, and they're gonna run some kind of crazy game. And it looks like they all got there. All 
Malcolm Koontz didn't play a lot, so there isn't a lot of film on him from last year. But he plays a run well, setting a hard edge. He turned that thing back inside there. Now he doesn't make the tackle here, but watch him disengage with his length and be ready for the ball to come his way. And rushing the passer, he abused Slater. Yes, too much length and too much bend for him. Here it all starts with the long arm, then he gets low. Koontz is going to show some wheels on this stunt too. That was a stunt and everything, but I'm not convinced Slater can block Koontz. So there you have it. The Chargers have the big LA hype machine behind them even though they only have 12 fans. All the hype is on Mac and Bosa, but they've been together for a while now. What have they done? What did they do last year? They were number 28 overall and number 24 in scoring defense last year. Meanwhile, the Raiders were number 15 in overall defense and number 9 in scoring defense last year. Oh, and they were number 1 over the second half of last season and they got the best defensive player in free agency this offseason. But somehow, someway, the Raiders get disrespected while the Chargers get all the hype. No one is asking how the Chargers are going to block the Raiders defensive line. Thank you for watching. See you next time.